Hi class, this is Mrs. Montgomery and I want to help you with this type of problem that involves the normal distribution and probabilities associated with it as well as using the central limit theorem. Let's read this problem together. It says, assume that women's heights are normally distributed with a mean given by 64.6 inches and a standard deviation given by 2.7 inches. In part A, it asks if one woman is randomly selected, find the probability that her height is less than 65 inches. Now I'd like to show you how to do this using StatCrunch. So you open your StatCrunch and click on Stat, go to Calculators, go down to Normal, and enter in what we're told. The mean is 64.6 and the standard deviation, we're told, is 2.7. Now, since we're asked the probability that someone is randomly selected has a height less than, we're going to leave it on less than or equal to here, and we're going to type in 65. We hit Compute, and there's our answer, 0. 0.55888. And if we round to four decimal places, this will become 0.5589. So I'm going to enter that in. 0.5589. And hit check answer. Now the second part involves using the central limit theorem. Because now we're selecting 49 women. And when you're using the central limit theorem, you have to remember that the standard deviation changes. You take the population standard deviation and you divide it by the square root of the sample size. Now this is very easy to do in StatCrunch. All you have to do is go to the standard deviation, hit the divide symbol, and type in SQRT for square root, open parentheses, and enter in the sample size, which was 49 in this problem. And then close the parentheses, and we're leaving it with 65 because that was part of the question, and hit compute. And now we have a probability of 0 0.8501. So I'm going to enter that in, 0 0.8501. Hit check answer. And there we go. So that's all you have to do when you're applying the central limit theorem. The easiest way to do this is just using the stat crunch and remember that your standard deviation changes when you're applying the central limit theorem because the sample size is no longer just one. Okay? I hope this helps everyone.